KSI is arguably the richest sidemen. With millions of subscribers and a massive online following, KSI is one of the most prominent figures in the YouTube community. You probably know of him from his viral videos on YouTube or his infamous boxing match with Logan Paul, twice. But just in case you don't know who he is, meet Olajide JJ Olatunji, a larger-than-life personality in the world of YouTube and entertainment. Known for his energetic and charismatic demeanor, KSI has cultivated a unique persona that resonates with millions of fans worldwide. In this video, we'll explore four detailed occurrences that led to KSI's significant financial losses in the millions. Stay tuned. KSI suffered financial losses after the YouTube ad apocalypse in 2017, when changes in advertising policies led to a decrease in ad revenue for many content creators. KSI's videos were deemed unsuitable for families by YouTube and were demonetized, resulting in a sharp decline in revenue from his previously lucrative YouTube channel. Although the exact amount of money KSI lost is difficult to estimate, the algorithmic changes and advertiser boycotts prompted him and other YouTubers to realize the importance of diversifying their income streams. KSI had built his massive following primarily through gaming videos, particularly FIFA and Call of Duty content. However, he began sharing vlogs and expanded his content beyond gaming, eventually reaching the coveted milestone of 1 million subscribers in 2012 and surpassing 3 million by the end of 2013. Some of KSI's videos went viral during this time, including his Guinness World Record-breaking feat of scoring 190 goals against a computer in FIFA. Despite the challenges he faced, KSI found support and camaraderie in The Sidemen, a group of British YouTubers who collaborate on various content projects, including challenges, sketches, and gaming videos. During the ad apocalypse in 2017, JJ made a bold decision to remove himself from the limelight by blacking out all of his social media accounts. He shared a series of tweets that have since been deleted, revealing that he was no longer comfortable with his status as a celebrity and the special treatment that came with it. He even posted a quote by Charles Darwin about realizing that the true monsters are within us. During this time, JJ entered what he now calls his evolving phase. From February to June of that year, he did not upload anything to YouTube or social media, choosing instead to focus on self-reflection and personal growth. In an interview with Drama Alert in February 2017, JJ explained that he wanted to cleanse himself as a person and that fame and money no longer held any importance to him. He realized that the constant pressure to maintain his brand image and the expectations of his fans had taken a toll on his emotional and mental well-being. It was then that he decided to take a step back from the limelight and focus on his own personal growth. JJ's hiatus was not only a time for self-reflection, but also a period of change. He made the decision to privatize over 1,000 of his videos, resulting in a loss of over 2 billion views. This was a significant step for someone who had built his career on the platform. Despite his absence from personal accounts, JJ still appeared in Sidemen videos and took part in their charity football match in May 2017. He later appeared in the Homegrown podcast in June of that year, where he shared more details about his five-month hiatus. JJ expressed his weariness with the drama and limitations that came with being a YouTuber and his distaste for the current state of the website. During his time off the internet, JJ traveled the world and gained new perspectives on life. He realized that there was more to life than just fame and money, and that true happiness came from within. JJ's decision to step away from the spotlight was a brave one, and it showed that he was not afraid to prioritize his own well-being over his career. Today, KSI is bigger than ever, and his outlook on life has changed. He is more grounded, focused, and appreciative of the little things in life. His journey serves as a reminder that sometimes taking a step back is the best way to move forward. Despite his success in the digital world, KSI had always been interested in boxing. In 2018, he made his boxing debut in a well-publicized amateur match against fellow YouTuber Joe Weller. The match ended with KSI winning by technical knockout, marking the beginning of his boxing career. KSI's next opponent was none other than Logan Paul, another popular YouTuber with a massive following. The two had their first amateur boxing match in August 2018, which ended in a draw. 
The rematch, which was their first professional bout, took place in November 2019 at the Staples Center in Los Angeles. KSI was trained by Jeff Mayweather, Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s uncle, and emerged as the winner of the highly anticipated match. While the boxing matches were financially lucrative, they were not without their challenges. One major issue that KSI and his team faced was piracy. The live streams of the pay-per-view events were hijacked by pirates, causing millions in potential YouTube revenues to be lost. Despite this setback, the KSI Logan Paul boxing match held at the Manchester Arena was a huge success, with 15,000 tickets sold and viewership reaching over 2 million concurrent views on various streaming platforms. He gained massive fame and fortune from these matches and generated a staggering $50 million in streaming revenue. Through his interest and success in boxing, KSI has earned a new level of recognition and respect among his followers. He has also become an inspiration to many aspiring boxers and athletes around the world. Despite facing criticism and skepticism from some members of the boxing community, KSI has remained committed to his passion for the sport and continues to train and compete at a high level. On numerous occasions, KSI has expressed his fascination with the world of cryptocurrency and often shares his experiences and investments on social media. However, his ventures into the volatile market have not always been successful. In fact, he suffered significant losses during the 2021 market crash, losing a staggering $5.1 million. Despite the substantial financial hit, KSI managed to maintain a positive outlook and even made light of the situation in a YouTube video where he shared his misfortune. He also lost almost 2.8 million pounds when his investment in the cryptocurrency Luna plummeted during the market crash. KSI's interest in cryptocurrency led him to invest almost 2.5 million pounds in Bitcoin, which unfortunately collapsed to just 800 pounds just days later. He also lost over $2.8 million in Terra, Luna, which dropped to less than $1,000 within a day. This is not the first time KSI has experienced significant losses from trading in cryptocurrency. He previously revealed losing $5.1 million in 2021 while warning his audience about the dangers of leverage trading. Despite losing at least $7.9 million in the past year, KSI seems to be taking it all in stride. JJ's success on YouTube has propelled him to become one of the most affluent YouTubers in the UK. His music career took off in the mid-2010s, and he started boxing in 2018. Combining the two, JJ became a comfortable multimillionaire. He has amassed an estimated net worth of $27 million, making him one of the wealthiest YouTubers globally. That's it for today's video. What are your thoughts? Let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Your support helps us reach more people with our content. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for more.